Not all that long ago, conducting business was a leisurely affair. There were such things as a family business, annual picnics and outings for the employees, and portraits of the firm's founder benignly dispensing light and joy over all. There was talk of an eight-hour day and women's emancipation. Of course, it was not all honey and money, a few dark clouds were scattered around the business horizon. Anarchists were forming those deplorable trade unions. And an American, Alexander Graham Bell, invented a noisy instrument named the telephone, which everyone knew was just a passing fad. There was the infernal clatter of those newfangled typewriters, and who knew where those rocketing prices would end? Still, despite these petty annoyances, if a businessman wanted trade information, he asked the man in the shop next door. And if he didn't know, which was usually the case, well, what did it matter? Suddenly, this idyllic situation changed drastically, and everyone caught business efficiency fever. The small businessman learnt new and exotic things such as technological growth coupled with automation, management control systems, marketing surveys, pie graphs, annual reports and ulcers. In fact, one can be excused for wondering how, with all this massive efficiency, the businessman finds time to do any business whatever. The pink pages of the Tasmanian Telephone Directory list 6,000 small and medium-sized firms. And then there is... and... and... All of which adds up to an incredible number of firms. This flood of information has to be stored somewhere, kept up to date, and yet be instantly available. The State Library in Tasmania gathers and indexes all this information. The reference and information service of the State Library of Tasmania is statewide and receives inquiries through 80 branches. The main centres, Hobart, Launceston and Burnie, are linked together by telex. And your reaction? How could the library possibly help me with my business problems? When contacted in person, by phone or letter, a highly trained staff is able to research simple inquiries such as the addresses of firms and organizations or latest industry developments, new processes, machines, inventions and such from an enormous range of directories. And if you're still not convinced, let's see an actual piece of research in action. This firm manufactures hand tools. An economic review has brought a number of problems to light and the firm has contacted the Tasmanian State Library for assistance of two of its problems. The Tasmanian branch is relatively small compared with its interstate and overseas affiliations. The first problem, an alternate supply of automatic screw parts up to one and a half inches in diameter. As the bulk of these were imported from overseas, the company wanted to know local manufacturers. This industry eats automatic screw parts. A plane takes at least ten, a hand drill six, and many are used for other tools. The second problem, an alternate supply for cellulose acetate butyrate throughout the world, the current supply situation, and potential world capacity for the next five years. All the company's chisel handles come from overseas. The supply was cut back 75% from the huge Bayer Corporation in Germany during the oil dispute. Cellulose acetate butyrate can take hard knocks with hammers and is not affected by the elements or age. Somewhere in the enormous mass of trade and technical journals and papers published each year was the answer to the two queries. Because the reference library is right up to date with all this information, Careful research and cross-reference located alternate supplies of automatic screw parts and chisel handle material. 
But the State Library has a tremendous capacity for answering quickly a wide variety of questions, such as, what do you have on the problems on communication in administration and how is this related to job achievement? Anything on windmills allied to the generation of electricity? Do you have anything on early movie projectors? How does one make a loot? What is the optimum number of police required to control traffic flow in a city? What information have you on the manufacture of ancient and modern methods of ceramic floor and wall tiles? I would like information on an American company who manufactures an ingredient in fiberglass production which is used as a core instead of balsa or foam. Was Abel Tasman married? But don't worry, small businessman. The State Library has everything going for you, including a section which will solve all your research problems.